Time for good call, bad call. I'm uncomfortable about the first question and look forward to Caro returning with the new ball next week. Because, Sam, you've asked me to ask you this. <laughs> List building exercises can't all be done on a computer screen. Good call, bad call. That's a good call, Hutchie. That's you can't have your cake and eat it too call. Cornsey just couldn't give up. He couldn't say that I got it wrong saying that Lance Franklin wasn't in the best 200 players in the comp. So what did he do? He went on SEN and tried to actually name 200 players that were better than Lance Franklin. It was just embarrassing in the end. And, and, and to be honest, quite disrespectful to Lance Franklin. I was responding to a challenge to do that if you wanted the full story. And I might tweet about it in three days' time just to, just to go over old ground. And that was a segment Lord I did yesterday on the C Sunday uh, footy show. Kane, so if you ever need someone to look you in the eye and say that you were wrong, I'm happy to do that. Just because I did it on Twitter as well doesn't make it different. Repackaging right, Lord Let's go, Hutch. Uh, Craig McRae's new look magpies have swooped even the most ardent hater off his feet. Good call, bad call. This is a good call. If you turn Damo the cynic into a believer call, he said everyone. <laughs> got them likeable again. <laughs> now, we surely still deep down don't like Collingwood, right? How, how has Craig McRae turned them into a likeable footy team? Bad call, David. Well, to you, Sam Taylor should be in the All-Australian conversation. Good call, bad call. Uh, good call, Kano. I think underrated call. I think Sam Taylor, let's take a look at some of this. Uh, just out of sight, out of mind a little bit with this guy. And I think they're, they're, they're a bit of a mess defensively, the GWS Giants. But this guy defensively, 1v1, saves them time after time. Cornsy, to you, there's nothing wrong with a bit of positive spin. Good call, bad call. Before I answer it, let's hear the North Melbourne president on SEN on Friday. I think we're a couple of years away. So only two years from finals? or no, maybe three. Two or three years away from finals, so it's a bad call. Sometimes it's not the time for positive spin. They're a long, long way away. Lordo, Josh Dacos has been watching his old man's tapes again. Good call, bad call. Good call, romantic call, Hutchie. Uh, this goal yesterday, was just, it was just a joy to be there, being a Bombers man. I just loved it. We just stood up and cheered, all of us. We just loved it because not many players in the comp can do this. He's already won a goal of the year, I think. It was a goal he kicked up in Sydney, which was phenomenal. I wanted to go back to the 81 prelim where the Pies won by four points. There's his dad oh, bluffing, his seeing his son's work. But this was 81. And just the, the little tap out in front of himself. And they won by four points, Hutch. Tapped it out just like Josh did yesterday and put this one through and they won by four points. It's amazing how the similarities are there from uh, Peter and his two sons. Outstanding. I feel this is uh, very well timed for you. Failure is feedback. Good <laughs> no, that's a bad call from you. It's a bit of a nasty call. I know there's some natural competition between you and Ross Lyon because he sits in that seat on a Wednesday. There was an internal email that went around on Triple M for special commentators not to speak over commentators. And despite what you're trying to say, I think Ross Lyon did his best. Sorry, it'll go. The kick is on the line! You are kidding me! You are kidding me! <laughs> Did his best. Uh, Kano, it's a case of buy beware for the Hawks. Good call, bad call. Yeah, it's a good call, Lordo. Richmond have had their issues with soft tissue injuries. What's so ridiculous well, about that? Because their best players are injured and they're ageing, and it's very difficult. They've lost well, depth Nick with their Well, Nick Floston's injured, well. which is a bit of a worry. Yeah, going but into Edwards round always one. gets injured. Can, yeah, Cochin can... gets injured. Revolt gets injured. Lynch gets injured. None Martin's of them are now. injured at the moment. Well, they're not at the moment, Caro. But history would say they have been. And once you get into well, that, history 30... over the last five years. Well, last year, and you're getting 33, I mean, 34 years look, of age. Trent it's Cochin very hard to stay on there. Looked at Cochin's several stages. Soft tissue capital of the AFL is Richmond. Peter Burge is the former Richmond head of high performance. He's going to Hawthorne, so keep a watch on their injuries. <laughs> You're throwing to your old packages now. This is quite March extraordinary. The 14th. Hutchie, we finish with you. Who said mud doesn't stick in journalism? Good call, back. This call. is a good call. Tom Brown, Tom Brown, muckraking call. Poor old Tom. He got his car stuck in the bog in the MCG yesterday. Couldn't get his car out. He is absolutely uh, snooking on the weekend. We've got no vision of that, but uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. I was searching for the vision. Let's, let's have a listen uh, to it. Apologies. Bit late today. Had <laughs> a bit of a hiccup. Left the rooms last night from the euphoria, but left the MCC car park and uh, got bogged. There you go. That doesn't happen very often to the best of them, but unfortunately for Tom...